Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So, tactical replay today, and the mission yesterday was a belter. It was um, the Metal Campaign Day 1. Uh, so, quick reminder, we've got this thumping great unit of um, planes, 20-something uh, planes, 7 hogs, and like, I don't know, loads of F5s and, and hawks. We take off, um, <clears throat> it's a dynamic campaign, so we can choose to do whatever we want, but we choose to go for the main objective, which is a CAS uh, attack that needs to happen there. We all go for the attack. The rough tactics we do are World War II style. We send the, um, the bombers in one big clump, and we spread the F5s out around the bombers and try and attack any, um, any red guys that come and attack us. It turns out that kind of tactic doesn't work with modern jets, but never mind, we'll see that through. Right, so roughly we've got Sabat 10 miles out in front, which is exactly as we asked them to do. A uh, slight problem is that uh, there were supposed to be four of them, but only two of them made it. The other two appear to have got lost. Um, needless to say, um, almost, well, probably more than half our group is complete noobs who've never even flown with us. Gas pipe, new guy, Elkin, new guy. Um, Popcorn, new guy. Rage, relatively new. Preston, relatively new. Uh, Spectre, brand new and so on and a few old timers so <clears throat> needless to say the tactics weren't very good but uh, we, you know we didn't we, we did the job at the end of the day so uh, let's carry on no reds in sight yet oh yes we have we have joker as a wingman pair uh, joker and tail are presumably patrolling these mountains at angels 20 asl and i don't see any other reds at the moment so let's uh, move that forward So our Sabre, our front pair, um, head in. Unfortunately, they didn't spot these guys. These guys should have been up here conning. So um, Sabre really should have spotted these guys, but never mind, that's the way it goes. Um, the main uh, force, just like I wanted, guys out on the left, guys out on the right, guys behind. So all the F5s are doing exactly as I asked them to do, and the Hawks. And my big, lovely, beautiful clump of A10s uh, moving into trail through the mountains. In theory, in my mind, that should have been a perfectly protected unit. Nothing could get to it. Uh, right. Okay, we're going to roll that forward a little. And you can see uh, Sabre ahead uh, clearing out the, the, the pass for us. Uh, Seethor and Talon have scrambled by the looks of things. Um, <clears throat> this was my one concern about sending guys off ahead or too far ahead is that once they get past the, the midpoint of the mountains then the red GCI can see them and then they can start scrambling jets um, it m may have been better if we had all crossed the line at the same time then these guys maybe wouldn't have got um, been able to scramble in time but that's debatable let's carry on is that going to be a fight no it's not I think these guys realize they've come a little bit too far and so they're heading back hogs in the mountains now the F5 guards all around them, which is beautiful. Gas pipe gets lost, but it's alright. Uh, Sabre have joined back up with us, and they're heading ahead of us again. All looking good. Pretty much as as much as we uh, expect it at the moment. So all very, all going very well. <coughs> heading down Hetfield's Pass right now. Uh, that's our fault there with our helicopters. Uh, if you didn't <coughs> see the helicopters in the movie, it's because. They uh, didn't appear in the movie, um, in the replay, so I couldn't get any footage of them, but they did go out and do their job. Okay, so they're passing over FARP now, and in come the baddies. Uh, so, a beautiful pincer movement that, uh, that the bad guys have got. They've got a wingman, tight wingman pair of 21s coming from the west. Uh, they know exactly where we are, because we're in, we're in GCI range now, so they've been vectored onto us beautifully. Seethor coming from the east and a beautiful pincer, exactly the same, and Talon coming to head us off. So it's a nice move. Uh, we do spot these guys. Um, uh, Tomic has seen these guys and is going to go and intercept, so all Tomic's got to do, get in there, put a missile in there, shake them up. Uh, we don't need to kill them, we just got to keep them busy. I'm uh, going to run that forward slightly. <clears throat> these make 21 of bags off. Sabre pop out just as pretty much as they're supposed to. So everything's going perfectly so far. The hogs have got in. It's coming safely. Sabre ahead, clearing out the pass. Our Praetorian guards, the F5s, have spotted baddies. And they're going to go and intercept. So, <clears throat> so far it's beautiful. So we've got to see where it starts breaking down. <clears throat> Here's where it starts breaking down. The interceptors seem to lose coordination here. 
don't know what happens to Atomic, but he's just has a bit of a heart attack and doesn't just carries on flying for some reason. Spectre does get joy on them, but uh, <clears throat> you can see um, Nubishness start to come into play now. If you look at speeds, you see Atomic 650 knots, that's how fast a F5 should be going. 550 is far too slow, and that means he's probably got his fuel tanks on, so he's gone into a fight with his fuel tanks on, which means almost certainly you're going to lose. If you go into any fight anywhere ever with any plane with fuel tanks on, you're pretty much going to lose. Uh, so rule number one of today, don't go in to a fight with fuel tanks. If he didn't have his fuel tanks on, he'd be 650 knots, he'd be right on these two guys' tail, he would have killed them, and we would have completed the mission. So, simple mistake of not dropping your fuel tanks essentially costs the mission really important things that have to be done static inbound same thing she's forgotten to drop her fuel tanks she's got no speed and oh she's missed him anyway spectre has got him on he should have killed him by now but he can't catch up he's still got his tanks on he should be dead migs by now it's a shame because until that, until the intercept, it was very, very, it was well constructed. <clears throat> um, unfortunately, gas pipe missed the guy coming from the right flank, and this is going to be absolute perfection from Seedor. <clears throat> I've got to say, this is really classy stuff from the Reds. Uh, I think these guys are a little bit lucky to get through, but Seedor was absolutely perfect. And how they come and bear, bear in mind that these planes have got no radars or no real working radars, they have no idea where these guys are apart from rough calls they're getting from their GCI. So to come in, dive into a canyon, into perfect formation, it's, uh, it's really highly skilled stuff going on here. If that was me, I would have gone the wrong way down the canyon, or I would have got intercepted by this guy or something like that. So, yeah, we shan't take it away from the reds. Right, we've got missiles going in now. So, first of all, that's a beautiful merge. Straight in, merge into the A-10 formation, just like you're supposed to, and just start pump flying formation with them and pump out missiles. God knows why Preston and Phantom didn't kill him, but... These are all new guys. I haven't flown with this before, so <clears throat> there's not, you know, there's only so much you can say. Right, one missile out. Cat's king hit. Probably gonna have to RTB. That is a missile out, and it is cap hit. That was annoying. <clears throat> and we split now. We panic and we split because we realise we've got bad guys within our ranks. Missile out. Cap hit again, and cap dodged that time. These guys, these guys should have absolutely nailed that uh, that Harrier. Guns out. Riddler avoids. Riddler gets hit. Joker and tail in. Beautiful flying from these two. Formation all the way. Correct speed. Just doing everything right, basically. As a missile out. That is... Oh, that's friendly fire. But luckily, Seathor uh, didn't get damaged by it. <clears throat> Quite often when you... Um, have a target moving left to right or right to left fast and the missile still hits them it doesn't do any damage because it's too far away the explosion is too far away because the missile just couldn't keep up with that high aspect maneuver bit of dog fighting going on with Seathor fast merge right then now we've got all got eight ends with four missiles each let's start seeing some self-defense here uh, the F5s are starting to work their way back Atomic swooped in beautifully Save our butts. Probably man, of them, excluding regs. Probably man of the match. Atomic killed. I think he killed three red guys. That I think he was the only guy to kill red guys. Right, missiles after Spectre. Looks like an ambitious shot. Mm, no, maybe it's okay. It's okay. No, it was just asking too, asking too much there. The guy was moving too far from right to left for an aim nine. Uh, Papa five. You've got to get them when they're heading cold, basically, if you want that missile to work. Missile out from uh, aim nine M on an unknown suspect on that guy that could hit dodged joker was a little bit lucky there maybe that's a good missile this is gonna get very confusing very fast now so let's look out for anything merge from tail and preston Merge from Atomic and Joker, and a shot <clears throat> direct on Popcorn's face. Popcorn should have seen that coming a mile off. Let's go and have a quick look at that again. Yep, he was below that area, so he should have seen him pretty easily. He was just flying straight and level again. New guy doesn't really know what he's doing. Straight into that missile. 
<clears throat> what's next? Uh, we've got someone up here. No, we haven't. Jeez, look at that. It's probably the biggest dogfight we've ever had. Missile, cosmic. Good shot, maybe asking a little bit much of that aim 9. It's a real harsh right to left aspect. Yeah, it's asking too much of the aim 9. That was a kill out there. That was a kill. Something happened out here. Maybe not. Missile out from Joker on Static, I think. Static is mincing. Static is not fighting. Static is mincing. Looking for targets. Can't mince in a dogfight. Piao. Easy kill. Oh, no. Yeah, she got killed. And Preston got hit, but not dead by tail. It's all very one sided at the moment. It's all red kills. And the Blues have actually got the better missiles, so. That is Cosmic firing aim 9. Mike might be a little ambitious at 2.1 miles. The dogfight is pushing north. Tail just escapes by the skin of his teeth by the looks of it. Yep. I think we've just lost another guy over here. Let me go and have a look. Oops. Maybe not. Right, we are running out of blue, guys. <clears throat> Atomic doing good work chasing this guy down. Missile out, good kill. Beautiful. That, that Harrier was uh, out of energy, I could see it wasn't turning. It wasn't putting much of a left right aspect, so Atomic took a good shot there. Good use of the F5. Starting to sparse out a little bit now. Gas pipe, mincing, king, escaping, cap. Escaping, Joyce coming in. Helicopters inbound. Uh, so we have got one kill. That was a Harrier by Atomic. Okay, that's better than nothing. Maverick is chasing Joker, and that's good. And remember, we don't really need to kill these guys. we just got to keep them busy. In some ways, keeping them busy is better than killing them. Because as soon as we kill them, they just respawn over here and just come straight back in. So that's something to bear in mind. Tail is uh, fishing for Riddler by the looks of it. I'm not sure what these guys are doing. They're just wasting time. These guys are all wasting time. They should be, uh, <coughs> to, just to compare, three new A-10s versus an experienced A-10. That A-10, he took his licks, fired a few missiles off, and now he's straight to the target to get the job done. Whereas you can see all these guys flying around in circles, round in circles, round in circles, not really knowing what they're doing. They could all be on target now, all having their missiles out, and then they could have all RTB'd together, and they would have been safe. So, massive lesson to learn there. And they're still they're still just circling around. That could have been 12 missiles off by now. Right, they're going to speed that up a little bit. These uh, guys are fighting. It doesn't matter that the Maverick's not winning, as long as he's tying Joker up is all that matters. Tail is hot on the Riddler. Riddler, unfortunately, they left Riddler alone. Uh, gas pipe, Spectre, these guys should be protecting the A-10s. I know they are protecting these guys, but they should be protecting the A-10 that's doing the work. These guys, are they're mincing. They're just wasting time. This guy, this guy, look at this guy. He's still flying backwards. Right, have a look at Mr. Tail. Missile's out. Doing his job. Riddler doing great work. Riddler now in trouble and asking for help. Great dodges. Two dodges. Nice. And probably an overspeed from Tail. Riddler's super experienced in the A-10, obviously. Tail in and that's an overshoot. Maverick still tying Joker up. These guys. Look at that guy. Still running home. Oh, maybe he's damaged. He must be damaged. That's my mistake. Yeah, he's damaged. <clears throat> right, okay, well at least these guys are finally coming to it back into the battle now. Something happened there. Ah, uh, yeah, Joyce, new guy. I get the feeling he just ran straight into the Joker, which he never really wanted to do. Head on. Plowman straight in the head, yep. 
Okay, we're desperately running out of blue, guys. Riddle taking some licking, but always seems to survive. Tail hunting for Riddler. Great opportunity now. Only two MiG 21s in play, and they're probably all out of missiles. So, this is the opportunity to pew pew pew. Um, if these guys were on target already, we could have nailed all of that by now. Uh, there's not much tail could have done with his one little MiG with no missiles. So it shows how timing, uh, the, how important the timing was. Now we got it wrong. Oh, missile out. Riddle sucks it up in his stride. Uh, we've got Mavericks. These guys are finally coming in and they're pumping their Mavericks out. Ma Maverick has done his, this guy Maverick has done his job. He's ran Joker out of weapons and fuel. That's the perfect thing to do. Well done. Riddle getting gunned. Survives. Well done. Atomic in to save the day. After tail. Firing missiles at him. Doing his job, look. Tying a red guy up. He's doing his job. That red guy is now no trouble to anyone. Oh, look good. Look at those Mavericks going. Pew, pew, pew. Beautiful. Atomic still chasing this guy down. Good Mavericks from Cosmic or whoever that was. Atomic still chasing tail down. Uh, Caesar helicopters coming in. Atomic gets a kill, damages his engine or stalls him out. That is a maneuver kill. And that wasn't shown in the um, in the in the money, so that needs to add on. So MIG. 21 kill. Give us a couple of million. And here's where the second key point is. Um, you see that um, the way uh, the way the timing should have worked is that we should have come in, taken the first battery of bad guys down, quickly got these this lot killed, and then out before the reinforcements come. The reinforcements are now coming. The second the the, the, the second wave, the respawns. Um, <clears throat> they're coming in now. The A-10s had to have done their job by now and got out. Uh, essentially a bit like Riddle, Riddle has. I know he's taken a few licks, but he's done his job. He's now getting out. If these guys had come in and done their job. They'd be on their way out now. We would have avoided the second wave. And that's, that's you know, 50% extra fighters we could have avoided. So that shows how the second problem, the timing, has gone wrong. And shows <coughs> how important it is, how you've got to get on with your job and got to get on with it quickly. You can't mince. If you mince, you let the fighters come in and kill you. And so it's going to be a bloodbath now. All you've got is a couple of F5s left for cover, and most of them are Winchester and out of fuel. Gerbs coming. Wow, I haven't seen this guy for the whole match, so I don't know where he's coming from. I don't expect him to last very long. Seedor is in. And he's got easy pickings. He's got a bunch of um, missile SF5s and um, wounded A10s to pick off. It's going to be nice and easy. That's Phantom here. Phantom dead. Not sure what Phantom's doing there. Um, maybe he'd used all his missiles up. I don't know. I, I didn't really follow it. Uh, and then Atomic yet in, in yet another dogfight. Again, it doesn't matter if he wins it. It doesn't matter if he's not a super duper amazing dogfighter. All it matters is that he's tying this guy up. That's 25% of the hostiles tied up. If he just spins around in circles, uh, sorry, if he just does scissors like he's doing, he's doing his job and doing it well. All he's got to do is not die and try and tie a baddie up. Uh, meanwhile, uh, and because he's doing that, he's allowing these hogs to survive a little bit longer. So at least he's giving them a little bit more life. Riddler doesn't make it back, he just crashes in his mountains, I think. Okay, let's speed that up a little bit, I think. Gub's getting in the action, killing some bad guys. Here come the second, the rest of the second wave. Yeah. 
Atomic finally realizes that this guy is actually, I think he's out of missiles, so Atomic just puts those lights to the burners and off he goes, runs away. That's a perfectly acceptable thing to do. In come the Hawks. Unfortunately, they're very high and they're easy target. They're going to get belly shot by the looks of it. And they're not really going to stand a chance to the in. Yeah, really dangerous to come in high like that. <clears throat> Dronato, that's one guy out. Good shot from Talon there. It's, uh, uh, Rage, going to avenge. Loses SA. And Joke in. Lovely turn. On his six. Good kill. That's a good way of wiping out two hawks. If, if they had come down the canyon here at 50 feet, it would have been the other way around. The hawks would have spotted the red guys first. Uh, so that is that. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, by this point, um, if you remember in the movie, for the last five minutes, I'm home now, but for the last five minutes I've been telling these guys to get out because they're going to get killed. Uh, uh, they weren't listening to me, obviously, or couldn't hear me or whatever and they're going to get themselves killed. The problem with that is if they get themselves killed, that's 14 million dollars lost. That's much more they can, than they can kill. Um, so they were they were being very anti-productive by not RTBing, unfortunately. Uh, there's some of the guys said that the F5s should have stuck around. I don't think so. It would have been a death sentence for the F5s as well. They've got no fuel, they've got no missiles. It's purely the A10's fault. Shouldn't have been here at this time. And they're going to die, obviously. And that's, yep, I won't bother watching, but they're dead, obviously. So, problems. Intercept. And the initial intercept was critical. We had to intercept those fighters to save our hogs. We fucked the intercept up, set up. Some guys lost SA, lost sight, which you shouldn't do. Why did they do that? It's because Atomic went too high. He went above the hostiles. Never intercept from above. I know, well, that's my, my thinking. And other people will tell you you have to intercept from above to, to have high energy. In reality, I always find it best to intercept from below because you skyline them against the sky of that and you don't lose tally. If you intercept from above uh, and they're small fighters like MiG-21s, you're almost certainly going to lose joy and fuck up like happened back there. Second, second problem, the guy that did manage the intercept, who was lower, notice he was lower so he could skyline the hostile, uh, got in there but he didn't drop his bags so he was flying around like a Spitfire basically at 300 knots, couldn't catch up, couldn't do his job. So they let the MiG-21s in. As soon as those MiG-21s got in the formation, then it was, you know, it was just absolutely chaos. That Harrier did a beautiful job of um, of, of diving into the formation. It would have been nice if someone would have intercepted him initially, but that wasn't always possible. As soon as he was, as he was in the formation, it was the job of the hogs behind, who were flying in formation with this guy and watching him shoot their friends, should have shot him with their missile. That would have that would have ended this whole problem okay uh, but it happened uh, and so they all got through and there was a massive dogfight very annoying but the dogfight happens at that point the A-10 spent probably six or seven minutes just spinning around looking for stuff um, when they could have spent that time going in like Riddle and killing the target they could have had that target therefore before the second wave of fighters came and they could have RTB'd and got out of there in time before those second fighters came that would have saved us about 20, 30 million dollars um, and basically made the mission a success. So those A-10s have got to learn their job. F-5s, I know there was a lot of criticism about the F-5s. I don't think the F-5s really did anything wrong apart from what I've mentioned. It was an absolute Charlie Foxtrot out there. Um, they were unlucky, I think, not to get some more kills. So I don't have much criticism of the F-5 uh, myself. Uh, so that's that. Um, and then finally, the last error was at the end there, there was two hogs on site. I was calling on 243 from about that point when I was that point there to about that point there for them to RTB. They, they didn't RTB, they stuck around and of course they got shot down. That's another 14 mil wasted. So there is five big lessons to learn there. If we can learn that and if we repeated this mission, then we'd have stunning success. Um, other than that, great mission to fly, extremely good fun. It is the missions that go wrong like this are the most fun ones because you have these huge dogfires. Well, not for me, I just got shot and had to run home. But um, really good, makes a good video. Right, um, that is all I can think of. Tiny adjustment to make to the scores, uh, to the money, and then we'll see you for day two later on today.